What's up tricksters? My name is Charlatan and today we are going to do an overview, deep dive, breakdown of the newest trailer from Valorant Games and that is trailer for the 11th agent that is coming on the 2nd June of the release of Valorant game and that is straight up from Mexico, Mexico City, Reina. She kind of reminds me of Leone Abacchio from the Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and she kind of sticks with that theme. She is like a vampire self-healer but the thing that we don't know yet, can she heal her allies? If she can, sh th this combo with Sage is gonna be so overpowered and I don't know why Riot Games is even introducing like self-healing and healing in a 5 vs 5 FPS shooter like Valorant but they are sticking with this theme and I think we are going to get much more supporters and healers in future. See, she seems like a really really strong solo queue character, something that I would play personally, like she has that aggressive playstyle, that really forgiving playstyle, like you can make a lot of mistakes and still be on top of the level, like still be healed and, uh, and, and al uh, well alive, well alive, let's put it that way. So right here we can see that she has like four abilities like every single other agent but what is interesting with this agent is that those two abilities are kind of linked together and they work together so she has this e ability which allows her to pick these purple orbs on the ground of the en dead enemies so when she kills an enemy this purple orb appears on the ground and it has a timer after this timer this orb will disappear and it will no longer be available for picking up and this is a self-healing ability which we didn't see if she can actually heal the allies or not because all the allies are dead in this situation so we don't know that yet when she picks up this orb she loses one point of this ability and something happens like she she charges up uh, she, uh, we don't know yet what 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 really happened here then she kills another enemy but she doesn't regain this charge of this ability so killing an enemy doesn't give you these points here but when she uses ultimate here with her X she recharges one of the of E points so we don't know what's happening here so her, her ultimate actually recharges this ability to the full potential for some reason and also with her ultimate ability she gains this Empress uh, Empress health bar which is basically additional health bar on her health points and armor so this agent can actually have 200 health points which is insane insane also the ultimate ability gives her combat steam which works the same way as the brimstone combat steam beacon basically she gains the attack speed and that attack speed resets every time she kills an enemy also on this map we can see there is some kind of destructible doors and this is probably the Venice map, the new map that's coming, the fourth map. Uh, here it says Verdura and on Italian that means basically vegetable. So I think this is Venice like 99% that will be the name of the map. And we can see the, those broken shards of the maps like this is the training ground, the training map. So that is the map 100%. Here we have some doors that can be broken, really interesting design of the map. Of the bomb site in general she destroys annihilates the enemy right here the enemy drops the orb and she starts healing after killing that enemy so after he, she killed the enemy she starts regaining health points actually and she also takes that orb with her e ability but in this situation she doesn't lose the uh, the, the ability point right here so i guess this is the healing bar and the amount of heal she can actually give or take if she are if she is able to to actually heal the allies we'll see about that in future and right here we can see her empress health bar being recharged so right now she has 147 health points actually to fight and she's in an overhealed state right now she drops the c ability which is actually a disruptive vision ability when, this, when you're looking at this eye, probably, you don't see the enemies and you, your vision is disrupted in some kind of way. It probably doesn't work as a flashbang or as the brimstone smoke. And I think this eye will probably be able to be destroyed 
I think it works in a way that you only see this eye and you need to destroy this eye in order to see Reyna and kill Reyna. I think that that that, that kind of makes the most sense. And she has two charges of this eye and she can drop it through the actual walls. So this will be extremely, extremely OP for taking the bomb sites in Valorant. Like this agent is extremely good solo queue agent. Something like Sage, but even more, even better, even better for taking that ranked solo queue alone. Sage is more of a supportive character, like the character you pick for your team composition, but this will be extremely, extremely good solo queue carry. She destroys the enemy right here. The second enemy engages her. She's in a healing state, overheal state. She has 150 health points. Right after she killed that enemy, her combat team gets uh, replenished, gets uh, basically back on track, and she starts healing again and getting overhealed. So, so when she kills the enemy, the ultimate kind of resets and the combat team is back, the overheal state is back and healing state is back. So, so she can gain that healing all like that ultimate ability is perfect for taking bomb sites. If you are engaging in a one versus two situation, you can easily take down two enemies, even three or four enemies. So this is agent that is extremely good in a clutch situations like one versus four, one versus five. And I think this agent will suit me really, really good. She kind of seems overpowered, but if, if they nail the timers right and the cooldown of the abilities, I think this agent can be really well balanced. And I think it will be a mandatory pick alongside Sage. It will be S rank easily. The E ability, this point here, is gone when she picks the orb for some reason. But we didn't see her actually use the Q ability at all. I think all the healing that was done was done from the actual ultimate. And we can, we can see right here when she starts shooting the enemies right here that the combat team, like, she gets that that additional attack speed, like, she, she's shooting at least 15 or 20% faster than before. And right after she kills the enemy, this overhealing state and healing state is basically renewed, it's back on track, so this agent has a lot, a lot of solo queue potential, like, maybe one of the best solo queue agents right now, alongside Raze, Phoenix, etc. Like, she's on that Phoenix level, like, she can heal herself, she has some kind of a vision disruption, which can be used to enter the bomb sites or defend bomb sites more effectively. And the ultimate gives her like three additional things. And I still can't figure out how this thingy here works, the Q ability and the E ability. This is healing ability, but I don't know if she can heal allies. If she's able to heal allies as well, that's gonna be extremely, extremely good, like overpowered. In combination with Sage, but th that's gonna be like additional seven characters. That's gonna be like seven versus five. If you don't have the Reyna and you don't have a, a Sage in team, you are effed up. They need to introduce some kind of a pick and ban system in ranked modes so they balance the, the meta a bit. But of course, they have only 11 agents, so maybe introduce like two bans only. But then people will just ban Sage and Reyna all the time. So we need to see more characters in game being introduced. Not too much, but. Like, meta needs to, to, to change a bit, it needs to shift from time to time. And right now, I think everybody is gonna play Reyna and everybody is going to play the Sage in their matches. Especially with the kit that Reyna has, so she has additional uh, attack speed, she has self-healing, additional health points right here. I think it works like that, like she has 150 health points right now, if I'm not wrong. But I think it works that way. So, I just realized this is basically the timer which ticks down and this timer indicates for how long of a period uh, Reyna will actually has this ultimate Empress ability. So right now we can see the timer is ticking down and as soon as she kills this enemy here, that timer resets back so she can have all these perks again. And then th that timer starts ticking back down again. It's not actually the health bar, it's the, th it's the timer itself. And then when she kills Jet, that timer is reset again. So she actually has 150 additional health points after she took that first kill. So this first kill and this E ability actually triggered that she gets those additional health points. And this is insane. This is really good. This is extremely good character, to be honest. Like her ultimate ability is extremely good for entering the bomb sites and for... for 
for clutch situations and for lurking around. But if, if, if she is able, because she has some kind of a timer right here, if she is able to heal her allies, trust me, an S agent is awaiting us at the 2nd of June. This kind of feels like a smaller map. It's still closer. For, it, it has that Valorant design, that Valorant close quarter feel, close quarter combat feel. But uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll, we'll need to wait and see how this whole thing works out. Because right here, we can see that this Q ability has some kind of a timer for self-healing. And when that timer expires, I'm really wondering what, what actually happens. And as soon as she kills this enemy here, that timer is, disappears and is being triggered into healing and getting overhealed. So she has kind of a bit more confusing hit in general. But I think uh, the main points are she gets a combat steam after using ultimate, so she has much more attack speed power to her weapons. She's getting overhealed, healed from those orbs. She, she can pick up the orbs from the ground, which gives her the healing ability, actually. She has two, two very good vision disrupting orbs, which probably can be destroyed if I'm not wrong. And... The overall kit is looking really, really strong at the moment. I think they will balance her with probably the cost of her abilities and the timings in which she can use it. So I don't think she's gonna be that overpowered. But I think the Sage and Reina will be the mandatory pick uh, in, in, in the current state of the of the Valorant game. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, from this little video. I just wanted to do some kind of a small breakdown, deep dive, and give my opinion on the newest uh, Valorant agent. She looks kind of strong, and I think I'm gonna main her alongside Ray's. Phoenix, Jet, they, these are really solo queue agents and they will work really good in, the, in a current state of ranked system of Valorant, but I don't know if they are going to stick with that solo queue that is kind of dynamic queue or they will split up the solo duo queue with dynamic, we'll, we'll see what they do on the 2nd of June. But until then, make sure to hit that subscribe, turn on those goddamn notifications, spank that bell icon so don't miss any new content from me, myself, Charlatan. Leave a like on this video, leave a comment down below, what do you want to see me from me actually in the next video tell me what juicy thing do you want me to cover in the future videos about the valorant and what guide or tutorial would like would you like to see from me tell me speak to me baby speak to me in the meantime you can also share this video spread the word about this channel with everyone you know in the description you have other social media what what did you say Charlton? what did you say Charlton? in the description you have other social media where you can follow me for some future announcements and live streams and you can also join my official discord server i want to keep in touch with all of you my dear friends i'm yours one and only warden of the valorant community thank you for watching and cut <laughs>